everyone and welcome to Garden Yarns. This is where we talk about knitting, crochet, and everything yarn related. Hi, how is everybody doing? Um, my name is Christine. Thank you for joining me today. I usually talk about works in progress, finished objects, and any yarn shopping or happy mail that I get. I like to welcome all returning subscribers and all new subscribers. Thank you for, again for joining me. Uh, I do have a few whips. A uh, few F FOs and not too much shopping. I'm trying to be good because I do have some orders coming. So we'll get started with the finished objects. My first one is the Crow Hoodie by the Crochet Crowd. You've probably seen this on my Facebook group page. This is how it looks. I thought the mask part was done separately, but it's all in one piece. Took a few days to do, but we got it done. I still have one more to make. Uh, this was using Barcelona Big and the color Mulberry. And that's the back of the hood. So yeah, again, it's for an order from a lady at work. So she'll be kept very warm wearing this. I won't try it on again just because of the mouthpiece there. So yeah, that's a finished object. And I still have one more of those to make. I'm not sure if I showed you the mittens before. Uh, these were a James C. Brett yarn. Uh, there's 20% uh, wool in here I think and the rest is acrylic. So they turned out really cute, a little bit larger, but it is a thicker yarn. And then I also did a couple of dishcloths. This is Wishing I Was Knitting at the Lake Simply Striped Dishcloth. I believe this is navy. I got this in a yard swap with Lisa. Hi, Lisa. She's at Happy to Hook Creations. Uh, and the color here is indigo. Got a little bit of a glare up. And I did two dishcloths. They came out really nice. And I figure since how I got two dishcloths out of one ball, I can do a hand towel with the other full ball, ball I got. This one I decided to cake this one. Make it easier to work with. And for needles, I'm using my favorite, my Knitter's Pride in 4.5 or a 7. the last two days I was working on my crochet basket. Uh, this is by Pamela's Adoring Crochet. And for this I used three balls of Macaw by Red Heart. And this is all I have left of the three balls. And this is Red Heart Super Saver, 141 grams, uh, 236 yards. And this is the label here. Excuse me. So, uh, for my basket, I'll put that away. I did an extra increase round, and I did five rows up more than her pattern. That's a Pamela's Adoring Crochet on YouTube. And for this one, I use an 8 millimeter hook. Uh, this is a Clover. So I got those projects done. And I have another thing to show. Uh, this yarn, I was 
did a weird shop swap with Rose at Rose Likes Crochet High Rose. Uh, this is your B Scribology in the color Lemon. And this is... Not seeing at the moment what it's made out of. Oh, 100% nylon. And it made some more scrubbies and I barely started on another one. Here. Tried to grab them all at once, that's not working. Sorry, I forgot to see what Friday is. Today is Friday, January 28th. Okay, back to the scrubbies. I made one a while ago, and then I made three more. Uh, this pattern is by Creative Grandma. I believe Glenda is her name. And this is her scrubby tutorial. Really simple to follow. It's two circles that are sewn together. So that came out very nice. And for that, I believe it was a six millimeter hook to make these. I think I have that here. Yes, six millimeter. There's that. And I did get started on my temperature blanket. I'm joining uh, Rose's group uh, doing the temperature blanket. And we're using the Granny Ripple Stitch by Fiber Spider. I haven't got too much done, but I have got it started. Uh, and I'm using Craftsmart Value Yarn by Michael's Brand. And this color is light blue. I think they use sky blue, but we didn't have that up here. So I figured I'd go with that. I haven't bought all my colors, but I believe I showed my other colors on another video. And I'm doing temperatures from Niagara Falls. That's a close city near me that everybody, most people know about. I'm just going to get my temperature list here. Yeah, I've written down for the first three weeks. I haven't looked up uh, January 26th temperature yet. Uh, but mostly it's been the same color. I'm still a few rows behind, but that'll be easy to catch up. Uh, so 41 Fahrenheit. So that's... Yeah, so the first three rows will be sky blue, and then I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it'll be the same for the, this past Wednesday as well. So yeah, that's coming along. And if you belong to my Facebook group of Garden Yards, you'd see I posted a picture of my purple explosion blanket that I'm now calling it because of all the purple. I have started sewing it together. There's a couple of the squares there. If I remember, I'll try to insert that picture inside here as well. And these are the squares I have left to s attach. So probably what about a good 10, 15 to 20 squares. So that should be done soon as well.
And my one thing I did get in the mail is I did order a new set of Tunisian crochet hooks. Uh, I've seen these on Tony Lipsy's uh, TLC Yarn Crafts, I think her channel is. And she did an unboxing of these. And of course, I just had to have them. I just love the packaging. Uh, this is by Lantern Moon, by the way. There's their label there. So it comes in a great little pouch. And they also give you a little catalog booklet. And that's what it looks like on the inside. Very pretty design. And it's the Tunisian crochet hooks as I just started learning that one. And this set, it, I got it off Amazon, or sorry, Etsy. I'm not sure what I paid for it. But you get one, two, three, four, five, six hooks. And then there's a couple of pockets on this side. You get two cables. This is a fold up. And you get two of the end stoppers. One of mine came off already. There we go. And then there's another little pouch in here. And this is the little lock thing to attach your cable to your hook. And the size ranges from a four millimeter all the way up to a eight. So yes, I'm very happy with it. I haven't tried out the set yet but I will hopefully next week. Put that together. There we go. So yeah, I'm very happy with that. Well, that's it for this video. Uh, again, I thank everybody for watching, liking, and sharing my videos. And I love reading all your positive comments. Uh, you can find me over on our Facebook group, Garden Yarns. I'm also on Instagram. And I have started an Etsy shop as well. That should all be linked down in the comments below. And until next Friday, take care. Have a great weekend. And we'll see you then. Bye for now.